Hi, well, I'm just going to start. It's Karen Hadley here. From, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Auckland, New Zealand, or Puhoi, New Zealand. Welcome. Lovely to have you, and I am so excited about sharing something with you. I'm a bit of a late comer to this set, I must admit. I looked at it and thought, oh, but actually I just have fallen in love with it and it's so pretty and I'm going to share a couple of really gorgeous cards with you to make that are so quick and so easy but still really stunning and the best of all is this set that I'm going to show you it's a stamp set and some gorgeous designer series paper and it's free absolutely free once you purchase the um, qualifying amount of product you get this free and it is one of the second tier uh, sets actually because it does come with the paper and the stamp set but you are going to love it so i'm not going to um, rattle on prattle on for too long i am going to switch over and i'm going to share it with you so let me just do that and i will click my little switch and i have got it open on the page already to show you this is the set now it does um coordinate let me find it for you somewhere in here i should have looked at the page before we started uh where is it let me see hi lynette how are you look you'd think i'd be organized and have this set ahead of time this is page 44 so i am going to hi shani welcome i'm just being super disorganized here we go it coordinates beautifully with this suite so the designer series paper matches this suite and this is in the mini catalog and this is got the strawberries the branches and i've seen some beautiful cards made without a strawberry inside with the flowers etc so if you don't like strawberries there's still some beautiful stamps and cards you can make with this but i have used the stamp set and the paper that are free in the celebration you tricked me karen oh what did i do i was ready to watch an hour ago <laughs> i was at this time i've been at this time for about the last three four three four weeks um, a little bit later. Uh, oh, I'm so pleased you waited though. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> so I got this and had a play and I really have, as I say, fallen in love with and it's actually on trend at the moment, super on trend berries, etc. So good old stamping up for being able to take something dinner time. Oh, oh well, I hope you've um, finished, have you? Or watching it while you eat <laughs> okay so I have made one ahead of time um, and we're going to use some of the other paper this is one that I made and we're going to do a similar style but what I wanted to do I couldn't I was looking at the designer series paper and once again it's sometimes you get papers and you just don't know which side to use I like really like both sides so I've cut the paper and then just cut a two centimeter strip and flipped it on this no it's cocking hole don't let it burn <laughs> Hope, I'm sure it's yummy um, and this label here is from one of my most favorite sets I just use this all the time uh, it is the big one which I had out this one here from the stitch so sweetly dies really really um, love this um, die set and all the different uh, rectangles here scalloped rectangles with stitching love all the stitching of course and this was just perfect for this so the papers let me show you the papers first these are beautiful so this is the the paper we're going to be using in a moment but this has got the strawberries and look at this lovely red um, cross hatch pattern just stunning and then you have the strawberries and the blueberries and the blackberries all on one sheet there with the green hatch pattern and then you just have masses of beautiful strawberries for us here in New Zealand it's summer so all these beautiful berry fruits are just 
um, abundant at the moment. Just going to run out soon, I'm sure, but it just really does remind you of summer, doesn't it? So yummy. Okay, so this is, as I say, a very quick design but because you've got the two, both sides of the paper it actually looks really really stunning and such a lovely card to be able to make if you have run out of time and want to put something together that still looks really really fantastic now as I said we have I have used this beautiful uh, sheet from the designer series paper and I have just cut off the two centimeter strip and I'll flip that over. Now I'm using the Blackberry Bliss, which is one of the colors on the, I think I, I have said previously, but on the back card, which I have covered up here. On the back card, you always have the list of the colors that are used in the paper. So it's always really good. I always have a quick look at that and, and decide which one I'll use for my mats or inks or anything like that. So, put that back. So we'll glue that onto there. So I just love how it coordinates with that. Um, now I haven't got the strawberry stamp set or the punch but after playing with this suite and actually really really enjoying it I've ordered it <laughs> so um, maybe next time we can use the, the punch the punch punches out the strawberries etc from the designer series paper and it's also got those that beautiful flat those beautiful flowers Okay, so I'm just leaving a small margin around the carpet. Isn't that just gorgeous? So simple, but so... Actually, I've put that on upside down. That's what I like about glue. Just gives you that little bit of... I have to be careful when I put it back on, though. A little bit of wiggle room. There we go. Beautiful. Now we will stamp stamp this. Now this is a little bit more, I have got a mat because it is a photopolymer stamp set. So let me introduce you to the stamp set. So this is the stamp set and we have the berries and it's two step stamping. Um, lovely distinctive look on the stamps which I, which I like. So it has shading and like here these are white bits missing which give it like light reflecting on it and things like that which really really is um, makes the stamp set special well I think it does for sure okay so what I'm going to do is start with the outline I've got some stamps here oh they're stuck on top few because it's two-step stamping of course I will start with the words down the bottom so I know exactly where they are and I will do that in the Blackberry Bliss, which is going to match the, the matting. And I am going to make sure that I've got it up the right way. It always helps, doesn't it? And I'm going to put that right down, just a little bit to the left, right down as far as I can. wishing you the very best okay so next I'm going to do that no, I don't need that again I will pop that now I'm going to get the leaf outline I'll put it here and I am going to use garden green for this and This two-step stamping really does make it so easy. Of course, it, with an outline stamp, you can choose to colour it in yourself if you like. And I'm just stamping it a little bit off. Like that. 
Now while I've got this stamp in my hand, I am going to use it for the inside of the card. And oops, I'll just take that over there. Just ink that up. And I've already done it. Oh, see, I'm so super organized. I didn't have the page right, but I did have the um, I did have the inside stamped. So I've stamped the leaves, etc. inside. And I don't need to show you that. I will show you at the end. Right, so now for the inside, I'm going to be using Granny Apple Green. So this is the inside stamp. I might just stamp this one off a little bit. Do I, yeah, I think I do want it stamped off a little bit. She says, and then forgets to stamp it off. Now it's not exact, these stamps. They're not supposed to be exact. Very close, but not perfectly exact. Okay. Next, actually I might go back in that one a little bit. I missed a little bit there. And add that on there. There we go. Now the next thing I'm going to stamp is the little stalk that the berry sits on. So I just want that to come about there. And I'm also going to be using Granny Apple Green to fill that in. Oops. Oops, I've now got ink on me. I have to be careful where I put my fingers out. I've got a little cloth here. Okay. I'll just fill this one in as well. Stamp that off. There we go. And I'm going to use the Blackberry Bliss. No, I'm going to use Tell a Lie. The Black Yeah, the Blackberry Bliss. Hi, Helen. How are you? Holidays all finished now. Back at home. So I'm going to pop that right up to the edge there. I might stamp that off a little bit too because it's quite dark. And I just want to miss the words if I can. Perfect. Now for the berries, I wanted to do them in sort of a dual colour. So I've actually got the two colours here. So this is uh, Raz, Rich Razzle Berry. Yep, back to reality here. <laughs> um, flirty Flamingo. All the school trips and the drop-offs and the activities will all be starting again, won't they? So I'm just going to pop some of that on. And then I've got Flirty Flamingo. And I'm just going to put this on this half. Just blend it in a little bit. Wipe the end off. Okay. Beautiful. And I was going to stamp that off and didn't, but that's all right. And we will now put the ribbon on. You could do another one here, but I quite like the look of one. I did I did do one with two and one with three, but I quite like just the simplicity of the one, I must admit, because it gets quite busy with the, the background paper otherwise. So let's do our ribbon. Let's close these ink pads first before I make a mess. Which is 
me. Put this away. And I'm just going to get my stamp and seal. And just, I find this so quick and easy for putting a ribbon on, I must admit. I'm just going to run it down. each side. Now I've got the Blackberry Bliss ribbon that is in the ice cream suite and ice cream corner suite um, which of course goes beautifully with this. And just gonna pop that around. I'm gonna pop my dimensionals on. Just a couple. Mm -hmm. Love my dimensionals. Can't have saggy bottoms. Okay. So a lot of in you here in New Zealand, if you're watching from elsewhere, our schools go went back this week. My son went back. Um, he did the welcome at the school and uh, and took the year nine students through to Tangata classroom where he is they have horizontal classrooms so they have children from each year in in his class okay i'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this so we did the pofery and welcome to open the school for the year. And then he has tomorrow off. Goes back on Friday and we have another long weekend here. So another three days off and then starts back proper. So we've had a couple of lovely short weeks with Mondays being holidays. And we've had amazing weather. You went back to school yesterday. Oh, did you bring yeah, in Makata tomorrow? Yeah, I think it's all quite staggered, um, isn't it, around, around the place, which is good. The traffic won't get bad until next week. Oh, a bit crooked. There we go. And I'm just going to... Now, I have cut a little bit... If I can find it. Um, I must have dropped off. I did have a little bit of the, the chill, polka dot chill, which I wanted to pop in there as well. Here it is. I've, I've been very good and put it on here so I didn't, didn't lose it. I just wanted to put just a little bit. And thread this through. And then pop that in there before you tie the ribbon. Just adds another, another bit of layer to your project. There you go. fingers and thumbs, sorry. Watch me tie the bow. Watch other people tie bows on videos and I think, oh gosh, they make it look easy. It looks easy for me. My nails always get in the way for a start. I have got my tongue out, that helps, doesn't it? There we go. And then just play with it until you are happy. With where it is. Beautiful. 
I'm just going to down a bit. My nails, yeah, they do actually, don't they? <laughs> my, this would be my favourite, my favourite colour. Okay, the opal rounds now of what I'm going to, these are in the sand and sea suite, aren't they just gorgeous? Absolutely love these. I said it about so many things, don't I? But I do. <laughs> okay. Now I've got a bit of ink there, so I will put put one there. These just have a little bit of glitter on them, which of course I can't resist. I've got two, that's handy. Resist a bit of glitter. Get down there. And They're really um, winding me up tonight, aren't they? And one up there. As you know. I never press them down too hard until I have, I'm happy with where they are. Yours too. <laughs> okay, and there we have the card. It's quick. I made it a bit hard left fiddling down with the ribbon etc but um, and I'm gonna have to get this ink I just got ink on here before as I said I had it on my fingers um, but that's fine I've got a special rubber that will sort that out um, I've stamped that on the inside and I will do that on the envelope and the coordinated colors on the front for the blackberries and this is the blueberries so you could make a strawberry one and another one and set, put, pack them together as a wee gift for someone um, beautiful um, coordinating sets I just love the colors in this and I love the, the the flip side of the DSP and just how stunning you can make the card just by just by cutting a two centimeter strip and flipping it over something so quick and easy and stamping the stamping the label and you're done and it's beautiful so thank you so much for joining me i really do hope that this is one of the sets that you pick lovely car thank you lynette um it is honestly you've got to the end of the month to get this and and you will love it absolutely love it so make sure you um, contact me if you want to purchase it or purchase something to so you can get this set free Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Take care, everybody.